Hello everybody, this is the fifth episode of Raft. Let's get straight into it. So, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna go explore Vahagistan or whatever, however you pronounce it. Don't make fun of me for saying that. And actually, we're getting pretty close. It's in... If I can... That direction. Well, paddle go paddle. Am I right? Wait, how close are we right now? Oh, we're actually getting pretty close. If I can direct this way while the sail does mo uh, the rest of the work. We should be there in no time. Actually, you know what? If I can empty my inventory, first of all. I think what I'm gonna do is make what we got last episode. Where is it? Did I even research it? I didn't. Alright, I'll research these. Headlight. Rope and battery. How do I make a battery again? Uh, okay, I think... Yeah. Battery. And there we go. I can make it. Headlight. Useful when exploring dark places. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for exposing your location. You are so close to death. Now, well, I can... What is that in the distance? Do you guys see that? I'm... I think... That might be the location. Hold on a minute. How close are we? Oh, yeah. We're, we're pretty close. Because I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm pretty sure that does not look like an island. So, I think that's our location. What even is it? Uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but I think this l looks a l awful lot like a cruise ship. Can we just anchor that? Yeah, does that not look like a cruise ship to you guys? I mean, unless you're like literally retarded, then you might not think that's a cruise ship, but that is 100% a cruise ship. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna prepare some stuff before we go. And next frame you'll see, I will be already going on right now. Oh, I just killed for Kisho. I killed him. Yes. Okay, when I, I kind of lied about getting on the ship right now, but I'll get on in a couple of minutes, maybe. So now I'll click to it right now. All right, guys, I'm getting on the cruise ship. Uh oh. Oh, wow, they weren't lying when you needed light. Ah, yeah, that's much better. Alright, let's just grab some stuff. Note. I heard from the captain. We're heading for one of the high rises down south. I can only hope you come to your senses and follow us. We knew the city was a failure, Ruben. Why do you always have to be so stubborn? Okay, I definitely knew what they were saying and definitely didn't think that they, I, you know, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Ah, Jimmy, what did I, what did I say about, uh, becoming a discord mod? Yeah, serves you right. Now go become a doctor. A gas tank? Why would I need a gas tank? Okay. So this no hey, Ruben, the yacht is ill prepared for this journey. Olof left space for a dance floor, but no space for supplies. The bottles sure found their way to the bar. As a military man, I thought Olof would at the very least be practical. Yet they're all treating it like a luxury cruise. I'm sorry, Ruben. I shouldn't have left. 
Okay, bolt cutter. Five mechanical parts. Who's that? What am I hearing? I'm hearing more jimmies. I saw a large rat last night. On the Irving. I tried telling the crew we obviously have an infestation among the lockdown supplies. They laughed at me. I miss you, Ruben. <sighs> Alright, well, I got a bolt cutter, and I know I need to use it here, so... I'm... Where did... What was that holding on to? The captain keeps complaining about my rights. If he does it again, he will be reprimanded. The crew doesn't listen to orders. I'm shocked by their undisciplined nature. Somehow, they believe rank and prestige disappeared with solid land? No, they will not be allowed to mingle among my esteemed guests. And they will certainly not be allowed further rations. They should be grateful. I am the only reason they are alive. Dang, guy, pretty savage. What are you doing to it? Get out! Do your job. Oh my god, I thought that was part of the note. Also, let me just mention something, but they're called lurkers? Nah, I don't really care. I'm still gonna call them jimmies. This sounds better. Oh, there's stairs. Ah, more jimmies. Die. Die. Thank you. What's you what's even up here? Oh, I see another mechanical part. Are those bullets? Hold on a minute. I see bullets down there. How do I get down there? Bullets. As I've suspected the crew was completely incompetent. Now they're claiming rats have eaten half of our supplies in a matter of weeks. <laughs> I promised them these flashes if they could bring me one of these ridiculous lurkers alive. Of course, the food shortage will need to be handled. Tonight, we're discussing which staff members are most suitable for... termination. Define what you mean by termination. Hardcore parkour! Okay, I made it. I think the other... Oh my god, I have to walk all the way to the other side. Using my right. These lurkers have potential. They were clearly once rats, now grown into something much more rabid, yet also smarter. I've already made progress on their training. With food and pain as incentives, I can discipline them. And by sharing their blood, the mutations increase. I wonder if another species would react the same. I've received a transmission from a place called Caravan Town, not far from here. They have an active animal population. I will create true soldiers. Loyal soldiers. Okay, another note. It's urgent! There's mist now! We don't know how far the water's risen! The maps are useless! We need to- The crew are planning a mutiny, Captain. It is time to act. A mutiny? They're just trying to stay alive, I- Are you mad? I gave you a chance to live. Now we have to protect ourselves from the masses. We will use the lurkers to our advantage. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're they they're fine. They're just having a cool little party. They're this tape was recorded on Halloween. It's super cool. They definitely didn't just die and use bomb. What happens if I stand right on it? Oh, it actually does damage. <gasps> oh, and I'm not even wearing anything behind besides this headlight. Dang, that bomb wasn't even that strong. Let me open these doors. Grab literally everything. Oh, what's that? Balboa. All right. Engine and the steering wheel. Oh, Lord. 
Alright guys, I think that's going to be the fifth, fifth episode of Raft. So, to summarize what we did, this episode is basically just explore Vahagistan, or Va- I'm not- Please tell me how to pronounce that. It is literally the hardest thing to do. So, as I was saying, what we did was just explore this place, gather a note to Balboa, and yeah, that's basically it. Next episode, we're just gonna explore that place. I'll see you guys later. Bye.